What's up guys, today I have a very special how-to video. It comes from a suggestion from one of my subscribers, Matt Murray, actually it goes by Matthew Murray. He asked, how do you wire a three-way switch? What it is basically is you have two different switches controlling the same light. So typically they're found in a hallway in your home. Maybe you have two entrances into the same room. You wanna add a switch, you only have one. You don't wanna walk across in the dark to turn that switch on. That's what we're gonna learn how to wire that from start to finish today. And hopefully you get a better understanding of how this works. But before we get started, if you could do me a huge favor, if you're not subscribed to this channel, I'd really appreciate uh, your following and you'll get a notification if you hit the bell button right next to it uh, every time we upload a new how-to video on all the different things that you could ever imagine how to fix in your home. And also like today, if you have something that you'd like to learn about, leave it in the comments below and we'd be happy to do a video on that as well. Also, hit the like button because it really helps keep this channel going and keep our videos populating. Now, let's get started. What I've set up here on the wall is I have a switch over here and I have a switch over here. I put a light in the middle and then for our power today, I just ran a little extension cord which is gonna illuminate this whole thing. So the first thing that you wanna understand is the power, right? So I have this off, otherwise I'd be getting zapped right now. And you have your hot over here or you could think of it as a positive. And then over here you have your Neutral. And you can think of this neutral as kind of your, your negative. So hot's positive, neutral's negative. It's the black wire and the white wire. These are always gonna be identified that way. You're never gonna come into a neutral, or at least you shouldn't come into a neutral in any electrical box in your house that's identified by a black wire because that'd be incredibly dangerous. So safe practice is always use white wires for neutrals and use colored wires for hots, preferably black or red, and then in a Rolmex uh, setting where you have Rolmex wire, all your wires are gonna be black or, or red, so it gets kind of frustrating, And but your neutrals will still always be white. How do we get this light to work, and what's the first step? So the first step that I always try to get out of the way when it comes to switches is we get the neutral out of the equation. So in this case, the only thing that needs to be connected to a neutral is gonna be the light fixture. So we're gonna take the white from the light fixture and that's gonna get connected to the neutral. See, the easiest way to do this is start to eliminate what you already have existing right here. So now, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna run a wire from our light switch over to one of our switches over here. So we're gonna take this blue wire and I'm gonna lace it through here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna run that right over to there. Take my wire cutters, I'm gonna cut this wire, and then I'll strip this back. All right, so here's your, what we are gonna, this is called a switch leg. So what this is gonna go to is this goes to our light fixture. So you connect this colored wire to the black wire coming out of your light fixture. Now I went ahead and I, I um, closed this box, but just to show you inside, these two, this black and white wire is typically inside this box, but for demonstration purposes, I brought them outside the box just so that you could better see what's going on here. So then from here, the next step is I'm gonna take these switches off now that you've seen them and set them aside. We're gonna use them in a minute, but I wanna make sure that, I'm gonna take this switch leg right here and I'm gonna throw that right into the box and that's gonna hang out for a little while. I'm gonna do the same thing with the hot, except I'm gonna use black wire for hot. Cause it's always safe practice that when you're wiring something in your house, you wanna make sure that if the hot is black already, then you wanna just continue with that color so that when you get to the next box, you, you don't get confused as to which circuit is which. Um, so switching between colors of the same circuit can, uh, it's not dangerous, but it can get confusing when you're trying to sort something out inside the house or if somebody else comes along later in life and needs to figure something out, it can get rather confusing. So I always try to keep the hots the same color if it's part of the same circuit. So now I'm gonna connect this black to our main power source. And now we've kind of organized this out. So we've got, so we don't have any connections left to connect. So the next step is we have to get two wires from this box over to this box. And those need to be the same color. And that's the easiest way to identify and keep things the same. So in this case, we're gonna keep with the Chicago theme here. We're gonna go Chicago Bears. So we're gonna do an orange wire. So we got blue and orange. And then 
we're going to run two wires and these are going to run from switch to switch. That's going to run right into there. Trim this up. Same thing over here. And then we're going to run it again. We're going to run one right back the other way. So I'm going to take one more of these. Okay, so now, now we've wired everything that we need to make this whole circuit work. This is now completely wired. So a couple of things that you need to know on how this whole process works now that we got it all wired. In a normal situation where you didn't have a three-way and you just have one switch controlling everything, then all you would have is you would have this black wire and you would have this blue wire. And when the switch, if this is our blue wire and this is our black wire, when this closes, the light will turn on in a normal single location. So how does this all work and why is it so important? So in this situation, what you have is we wanna spread this apart. So on this side, we have our black wire. And then on this side, we have our blue wire. But now we have these two other wires that kind of come into play and how does this work? So those two wires, right here. So let's say you come over here, you hit the switch up. So we'll show it like this. And over here, the switch is down. And we'll show that like this. So class, will the light turn on like this? And the answer is no, because this one is this way and this one is this way. So there's no connection being made. However, if I come over here, and I hit the switch up, and let's say then this connects to here, that completes the circuit and allows the light to turn on. So these are our travelers in orange. This is our hot, this is our switch leg. Make sense? Let me wire this up. I'll put the switches on. So a couple of things that you'll notice on here is, on one side, you are gonna have two posts that are of the same color. And on the other side, you're gonna have that black. In this case, purples go to the oranges. So whatever are the two of the same color, typically this is a dimmer switch. And then this is a traditional three-way switch where see you have two gold screws and then you have that black screw again. So the black screw on one side is gonna to go to the hot and the black screw on the other side is gonna to go to the switch leg. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I wired up both of the switches. Again, just to recap before we do the awesome thing of turning it on, is uh, you have the two travelers. They go from switch to switch. They don't connect to anything else besides themselves. So they literally travel from one switch to the other switch. That's it. They don't connect to anything other than the switches. Then, on one side of the circuit, in one switch box, you're going to have the hot. That's the positive. comes from the electrical panel that gets tied to one of these switches. From the other switch, you have the two travelers that can connect it to the switch and the switch leg or light source. Now, let's see, does it turn on? Hey, look at that. And then you have it. I put a dimmer on here, but you could just run two normal switches. So you enter the room in one location and then you leave the room in another and you shut off the light and you go and then maybe you enter back in over here and you hit that switch and you turn it on and then you turn it off again. And if you notice what I'm doing is, is you see one goes up, the other goes down, this one goes down, this one goes up. And that is how you wire a three-way switch. 
So if you've watched this whole thing, I really appreciate your attention. And if you have other questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Also, I'm going to put in the uh, description below also how to wire a single pull switch, um, the full switch box, and then also a video on how to wire an outlet. And I go into more of this kind of theory in those videos briefly, but um, I don't want to overload you, but uh, in every how-to video, I go into a little bit of the behind the scenes of why we do what we're doing. Um, these electrical videos are a lot of fun for me, so um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed by now, you better subscribe or don't watch them anymore. All right, see you next time.